I'm with Margate manager Andy Drury after his side's 2 1 winner away at Sittingbourne. Um, Andy, back to winning ways. Uh, happier with that performance? Yeah, much improved from the last the last two games. Um, we had training last night. I told them exactly what to expect. Again, how we're going to play, what I expect from every individual. Uh, and to be fair to them, they've done that today. We're, we're still four, four or five players out injured as well. So full credit to them. They've bounced back from two defeats. And again, in them games, you know, we, we, we're still missing some good players for us as well. So we, we bounced back tonight. I'm proud of the boys. Um, it, it was a bit of a tough game as well. There's a lot of physicality in there. They were throwing the balls into the box, playing for corners, um, doing a few naughty challenges as well. So we've done well to get there, get through the game. One, winning it, and two, no more injuries. And you said on Tuesday you wanted some more hard work from the players and that they had to put a performance in for themselves tonight. Did they do that? Yeah, they put a performance in for themselves and they put, put a performance in for the teammates as well. And, and they're in there now saying they're knackered, basically. And they didn't say that after Saturday and they didn't say that after Tuesday and that's exactly how 11 people should feel after every single game when you play for me and you play for Margate you give it absolutely everything while you're on that pitch and if you're not and I said to them last night if you're not giving it on the pitch you'll come off and sit with me and, and that's how it'll be and in terms of you know the result tonight sitting born obviously won their first six pre-season friendlies and again we go on that results don't matter but to come here and, and beat a team that are in form and finding their feet um, that's particularly pleasing isn't it especially coming off the back of two of our own defeats yeah definitely we, we was very good first half especially the first 30-35 minutes we, we was really good we probably could have scored two or three goals and stood out at half time so really you need to kill kill some teams off while you're on top uh, and sometimes it does come back to, to bite you sometimes but but even in the second half, we got the second. Troy, Troy's missed a really good chance to, to literally seal the game, really, to, to go 3 0 up. And they've nicked one at the end, and we've made a few subs and stuff. But um, it's, it's more the performance that's pleasing for me. In terms of injuries, obviously a, a, a back line of injuries at the moment. Lewis Knight missing tonight, Peter Rogerman, Taylor Fisher, Harrison Hatfield. You said he may feature tonight, he didn't. Can we get an update on them? Sort of four, four injuries? Um, Kieran was unavailable tonight as well, so that's, that's five. Um, Taylor possibly Tuesday we're looking at if not hopefully he'll be fully training for Thursday um, Peter Rogerman he's got he's got bruise, bruising on the bone so that'll, that'll all depend how it's settling down this weekend see how tender it is Tuesday probably unlikely we'll, we'll aim for the Kingstonian game if we can 90 was more more precaution tonight. He's feeling his Achilles a little bit after Tuesday, so there's no point in risking him at the moment. And H probably could have played tonight, but I was going to bring him on last 10, 15 minutes, but there's a few challenges from them that I didn't really need him to go on there. And if, if he caught something, then it's not really worth it. That's brilliant. Thanks for your time. Well done this evening, Andy. Cheers, mate. Cheers.